welcome to October Favorites. I wanted to do a couple of quick housekeeping items before I get into the favorites. One is I have a series coming up on my makeup collection. It's not that it's all that big, but I just thought it would be more interesting to go through drawer by drawer and talk about the products than just open a drawer and say, ta-da. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too boring. I wanted to thank you so much for your feedback on my Elle's life on my blog. I did it again this month for the second time because I had such great feedback. I hope you find it enjoyable. I've got a little update on there about Olivia, some knitting, and just some things that kind of capture what's going on in my life. If you have any suggestions of things I should be including in future, feel free to let me know. So the first favorite is powder. I happen to be using up the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I love it. I forgot it on the night that I had the meetup. I worked a long grueling day. I have dry skin and yet I was a shiny disco ball by the end of the day. I was so regretting that I didn't remember to powder. When I powder, it makes such a difference in the polished look of how my makeup looks. It just looks much more finished and I can have a long grueling day and not look like a disco ball. So love Right now I'm using up this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I absolutely love it. I also love the Milani Multitasking Powder. There's quite a few that I love, but powder. Definitely don't forget your face powder. The L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. I have a couple of them, a few, and I love these. I realize that I use these every day, no matter what my eye look. Today my eye look is with the Chocolate Bar. Uh, palette and then I used the Eternal Sunshine just along the lid to brighten things up a little bit. I usually use Ice Latte every single day or Eternal Sunshine. Those two are a must-have in my collection. I also absolutely love Amber Rush but these are all really beautiful quality shadows. They last extremely well. These are a really really nice eyeshadow and I've been appreciating those this month. Finally, I wanted to share with you an item that is not makeup, but in the fall time, I always love pulling these out. We're still 90s and even hit 100 last week, but I just still get in the fall mood here. But these are the warmers that you can get. I got mine at Walmart. These are $10 each, and all you do is take off the top and put in one of these squares, these wax cubes, and they melt down. What I love about these is there's no flame. You can turn these on in the wall switch, they melt the cube, it nicely scents the air. I don't like like a candle that's heavy and overpowering and you walk into the room and it hits you. This is more just clean and fresh and I've tried a bunch of the different flavors and scents and I really enjoy all of them. This is something that for me is fall and it freshens up the room without being overpowering. I'm really enjoying those. So the first thing that I want to mention under my appreciations was the meetup. It was wonderful to meet all of you. The only thing I didn't like was I didn't have time to visit one-on-one -on -one with everybody and I always enjoy that and I felt like I didn't get to spend enough time with some of the people but it was just fabulous. Everybody came. First I have to say that Melissa Parada is such a sweetie and she looks like a little princess, a little doll. She, her makeup is perfect, her hair is perfect. She wore this cute little leopard dress and boots. And she was just adorable. So thank you so much, Melissa, for doing this meetup with me. I had a wonderful time and I was so glad I got to meet you as well as everyone else. When people drove in from way out north, way out west to where we met in the I guess southeast part of Arizona at uh, mall and we had a wonderful time. Hi, I'm Melissa. <laughs> Hi, Erica. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nancy. Hi, I'm Sherry. Hi, I'm Natalie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lori. I'm Debbie. <laughs> Should we do our YouTube? Uh, Lacey. Lacey. <laughs> I'm Lacey. <laughs> this is Julia. We sat around at a restaurant and it was like old friends. We caught up. What was so fun was we started talking about other YouTubers and do you watch so and so and it was really fun to share and to talk about how all of the people are our friends. We talked about you know when Emily had her baby and Kristen and Bob and just all kinds of different things and it's just we all know them and we're all a community so it was just a really 
fabulous, magical time. I have to say again, I am appreciating my bosses. It has been crazy, insane, busy at work. I am trying to not spend any time I don't have to on the computer with my shoulder. So they are just fantastic. It, there's been political hornet's nests happening there and just a lot of stress. They are just fantastic. I can't say enough how much I appreciate them for helping me wade through the water with, filled with sharks. They just make it so much less stressful. And finally, Arizona, our cooler weather. I'm sitting outside and reading. I am going for bike rides and I just love that it's cooling off. Yes, we're in the 90s in the daytime, but we're down into the 60s at night. So once the sun goes down, it is absolutely beautiful. I love Arizona. We have at least six months of gorgeous weather and we're just getting into that time now. So this is my favorite time of year here. As always, I put the books that I've read for the month on my book blog, aliceforliterature.blogspot.com. I put the ratings and my review of them. But the two, I have two that I want to recommend for you this month. The two books that I would recommend this month are very different. One is The Tortilla Curtain, which is about two couples. One is um, a fairly affluent uh, couple that lives in Topanga Canyon in California, and the other is um, a Mexican illegal couple and how their lives clash, what happens to them. It does have some very unlikable characters and that says a lot to me that the author can make you really get into this book when the only likable character for me was America, um, the female of one of the couples, the Mexican illegal couple. She was the only one I had any kind of compassion for. The other three people I did not like at all. And yet I loved this book. And I think a lot of you may have read it. I'm probably late to the party, but it was just a really good book. And that's why I want to recommend it. The other one is at the other end of the spectrum. It was light, it was fluffy, it was an easy read. Leanne Moriarty is quickly becoming my favorite author for when I want some, you know, beach read kind of book. And this did not disappoint. The Hypnotist Love Story. It's about a hypnotherapist. She meets a fellow through online dating and he tells her that he has a stalker. And you get to know all three of them. It's quite an interesting story. I really enjoy it. So that's my favorites. I'd love to hear what you've been enjoying, makeup or otherwise, for the month of October. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time.